Hi, I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you questions from previous test paper. I'd like you to understand these questions and then see how to solve them in test paper. So from this test paper, I'm going to pick up question number 9. The question is, the graph of f of x equals to minus 2x square minus 12x plus 10 is translated 5 units right and 1 unit down to g of x. Determine g of x in the form of g of x equals to ax square plus bx plus c. Hint, complete the squares first. Now, if you complete the squares, you might do a mistake as the student did and you can see how lengthy the process is. Well, I've done this correction and uh, shown the answer after doing the correction. However, here is a direct method which I'll prefer you to adopt. So look into my method. The question here is, the graph of f of x equals to minus 2x square minus 12x plus 10 is translated 5 units right and 1 unit down to g of x. Determine g of x in the form g of x equals to ax square plus bx plus c. Now there are different ways to do it. However, I'll adopt a straightforward method to solve this question. The transformation is 5 units right and 1 unit down. That means the function g of x is equal to f of 5 units right means x is to be replaced by x minus 5 and 1 unit down means minus 1. Correct. So what you can do is that you can directly substitute x with x minus 5 and then take away 1. So what we get here is minus 2 times instead of x I'll write x minus 5 whole square minus 12 times x minus 5 plus 10. So that is the function with x minus 5 replaced for x and then minus 1, minus 1, correct? So that becomes g of x. Now let us expand it. So we get minus 2 x square 2ab means 10x, 5 square 25 minus, open this bracket, 12x minus minus is plus 60 plus 10 minus 1. Now we'll open the first bracket which is minus 2x square plus 20x. Uh, this is plus 25, 5 square. When you multiply with negative 2, it becomes negative 50 minus 12x. We can combine these terms, 70 minus 1 being 69. Okay, let's combine the terms now. So we get minus 2x square. As far as the x terms are concerned, 20 minus 12 is 8. And we have minus 50 plus 69. So that gives us plus 19. So that becomes the transformed function in standard form. So that is the answer. Now alternate approach could have been to complete squares and then apply this transformation and then expand to get the answer in standard form. Now that alternate approach is pretty lengthy. So what I need you to understand is that these questions where it is specified that the answer must be in standard form, this is a better approach. I hope you appreciate it. Feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.